Alright, so I feel like I gotta kinda talk about this for a minute. It's just, and if I start to get a little overwhelmed and just going on and on about it, bear with me. I, I have a message to convey here. Um, so, I've just been really frustrated because I see people on social media um, just posting plur. Plur, plur, plur. And they don't really understand what it means. And for those of you who are new to the scene and they don't really, you know, get plur, they don't really know about plur, like the definition, they may know the letters, but knowing the letters is something completely different. So, in case you didn't know, plur is an anagram for peace, love, unity, and respect. And yes, you can know the words over and over, inside and out, but until you fully understand it, what each thing is about, you don't know what plur is, even if you know the words inside the anagram. So peace is to be in the same place as another, to exist simultaneously without conflict or adverse effects reactions. Love is to un unconditionally feel great affection for a fellow being and offer friendship regardless of race, sex, or creed. Unity, to come together and defend common interest and give a sense of well-being among those who feel unaccepted, to follow any and all to be a part of you and your friends. Respect, to allow yourself to be who you are without expectations and allow others to do the same while helping each other, giving those around you the pride, courage, and honor that you would yourself. Understanding everything about a rave is the key point to becoming a true raver. It's not about the drugs, drama, or the sex. Sure, these things can be fun, and are usually identified as stereotypical rave displayed in many movies, but there's a lot to what a rave is and what it symbolizes. My personal opinion is this. If you're going to use drugs, don't take them at your first rave. It shows that you're not there for the party or socializing or even the music. Your first rave is to take in the experience, not the substance, to actually enjoy the scene without the influences that taunt the many participants. A rave, in its utopian sense, is about a four-letter an acronym that many people have argued about for years. Plur. Peace, love, unity and or understanding, respect and or responsibility. Most often, unity and respect are the most commonly used for the letters U and R, typically. Plur is not just a trendy word that is thrown out there by ravers and people involved in the rave culture. As a new age hippie or whatever it is you want to label me, I have one point I want to get across. I'm sick of people putting plur on their MySpace profiles and AIM and Facebook profiles and everything else they own when they do not understand the true meaning behind plur. My intentions are to spread not just plur, but the background with it. Peace. Peace is the calmness you find with those around you and also inside yourself. It's tough, we often have to work at it, but when you're at peace with others, with ourselves, and with our planet, only you can come of it. Only good can come of it. Peace is what you use to chill out when the sound system blows and the music stops for 10 minutes. It's what you use when some idiot keeps bumping into you while dancing. It's sort of like serenity and being calm. Shit happens, and you deal with it. All of these are good definitions. Peace is the mind. Peace is the ability to make friends, connect, and grow into a family. Peace is what makes a rave possible. Ever been the only person you know at a rave? This makes it possible to calm down, not to be afraid, and let out that first olive branch of friendship. You can't smile truthfully without a bit of peace channeled through your body. Love. Love is the caring you feel for friends, for strangers, for those in need, and also for caring that you show for yourself. It's symbolic. It's about sharing whatever energy you put into something will be returned to you. Love is an unconditional appreciation of something or someone. It combines with peace to allow you to think things like, Frankie Bones isn't a bad guy in spite of flapping his mouth. The peace gives you the chill factor so you can get to the unconditional love. A leapfrog kind of thing. It proves that all elements with implore must be interchangeable and connected to work as one whole creation. Without peace, love is non-existent or impossible to retain. Love allows us all to grow, adapt, create bonds with other people, and keep the peace with everyone. Love is also unbelievably important in order to retain the following elements of plur. Without love, a rave would become chaotic and create a world of paranoid dancing people. Candy kids can often be seen giving unconditional love towards newcomers, giving gifts of bracelet, bracelets made of many colored beads in different varieties. This is a sign of friendship as a reminder of them to whoever receives the bracelet. These gifts are known as candy and will be discussed in another video. The two U's. Unity means we share a lot of common things, regardless of our age, gender, race, orientation. 
We are all human beings. We all need other people, and we're in this for the happiness experienced during being around others. Though we may have differences, we will all arise. We all arise from the same source. Once you have peace and love, unity follows in that you can appreciate other people and other things, and this appreciation allows you to work together with them, or spend time together with them, and otherwise support them, even if you don't always agree with them. A sense of something bigger than just yourself and your own pleasure is a part of unity. In the case of yous on the list, the bigger thing is an interest in, in the, social, the off social phenomena known as raving. Unity helps me do things like throw a good party for the new ravers list, even though there are people who are on the list and who might come to these parties who would rather not have anything to do with. It is in the spirit of greater unity that I chill with these feelings peace again and welcome everyone into my home so they can be together and have fun. Unity is in the music. Unity is very important in the role of Plur because without the U for unity, Plur wouldn't even be a word that could be pronounced. In the song Eminem sings, he quotes, lose yourself in the music, the moment you better never let go. I believe he's referring to what we ravers all come together for. The music blindfolds us all and brings all of us, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, purple, green, silver, etc together for all one thing, the music. The music is by all means the weapon of the future, and now those who don't hang out with someone because they listen to happy hardcore and dress like candy kids cannot say you believe in plur without being hypocritical. Th that is the lack of unity at its peak. Unity is being on the dance floor without noticing the minorities or majorities. Unity is bringing everyone together for one cause. Unity is the music. Also defined as we're all part of the universe. The scene is only as good as the bonds between you and your fellow ravers. A rave is only as good as the love the ravers share with each other. In fact, a rave's success may sometimes depend on this bond, this connection. Again, the practice of peace and love combined to create a new pillar in the rave society. Understanding can be viewed like, like this. It's in all of us to accept everyone as a person and understand them no matter the race, religion, group, sex, or dream. We're all here for the same thing in different ways, so understanding everyone is a common goal. A sort of piggyback to unity. Without understanding others, you cannot join forces with the community you have just learned how to peacefully love. The two R's, the biggest of the letters. Respect may mean respect for others, their ideas, their music, and their lives. It's also respect for oneself one's body and the need that is has whatever they may be. Educating yourself on the substance you ingest shows love and respect for your body. Passing on the knowledge to others shows respect and love for your fellow person. Also, similar to the definition of understanding, which is why understanding is rare. This to me is the key that is often missing in our scene. People get too much flamage, and I admit I've been guilty of this. People are more worried about being disrespected by others rather than concentrating on generating and giving respect. This is the most difficult one for me to explain because I've had the least amount of time to think about it. Respect includes things like not graffitiing on walls at raves, picking up your trash, and giving whatever you can as a don donation when the hat is passed at a free event. It also includes separating yourself from that what you don't like while allowing it to continue uninterrupted because people other than you are getting enjoyment from it. For example, my feelings towards Guetta. I really don't like it when he's played. I go chill with friends until their set is over. I used to whine and complain, but then it sunk into me that other people were getting something from it, and by trying to suppress their enjoyment, I was showing extreme disrespect for them. Respect is not so much as a verb as it is a rule. You can't be respected unless you give a little. Respect means many more things than it is given credit for. Yes, respect is tolerating other people's differences, but it also has deeper mealing, meanings. <clears throat> respect is when you tell your friends, family, anyone that you're going to meet them somewhere and no matter what situation occurs, you will try your hardest to get out of your way to keep your promise that you made with them. Respect is when you know other people's boundaries and you do not cross them no matter what. If you don't know how far people's boundaries are, you don't push anything on them until you know their boundaries. I know sometimes it's hard, sometimes people may send mixed messages. But respect is also not assuming anything either. Respect is when someone asks you for help and whether you know them or not, you don't care who they are, but you will try to help that person in any way possible because you have respect. Respect is respecting others who don't even respect you. 
You, can, you can't expect people to respect you unless it starts somewhere. And that somewhere isn't going to start unless you make a difference. You cannot rely on other people. That is a lack of respect. You see, respect is like giving that piece of candy to that person you've just met. Respect is like a gift that keeps on giving even if you never see it right away. It's what keeps us going. It's what makes us believe in a world and whatever deity we believe in. The one thing that people fail to grasp, and I've been guilty of this, is being able to respect themselves. Without being able to truly respect yourself, you're always going to second guess and make poor decisions. Like being the kids lining the walls at their first rave on whatever drug they managed to get their hands on because they didn't take the time to talk to anyone else about it. They took in the stereotype and without truly thinking about the consequences of their actions, they also become the drug addicted, addicted kids that make ravers look bad. Responsibility. Why responsibility? Think about it. You are responsible for your actions, and you're very responsible for yourself. No matter what goes on, you have a responsibility to yourself and everyone around you to do what's morally right. If you take drugs, you're still responsible for number one, taking the drugs, and number two, what you do while under the influence of the drugs. Same with what you say and do. So remember, please, Plur is not just about trying to make it seem like you have it all together and that you're like well rounded and that you're you're a real raver that's not what plur is about people plur is about knowing what is best for everyone that you're raving with plur is about knowing your fellow ravers and being able to respect them and love them and be able to keep the peace where it's not your place to disrupt. For those of you that are new to the rave culture, just please take this in mind. Take what I have to say to heart. And know that I'm being for real. Thanks for listening.